Christmas goodness over there, Ricky. Yeah, well, I'm not. We've got Great Scott here. You're great Scott uh, from Great Scott chef.com is back here you know it's less than a week until christmas you're probably putting together your final details on what you're going to be making for dinner and your menu what about a traditional italian dessert to finish the night off you're you're doing italian lately that, that, I am. That's, your, that's your thing i am but this is very versatile rick okay so yeah. happy hanukkah merry christmas and i promise if you make this folks at home People will be fighting over it in a good way. Okay, I'm impressed so far, but I don't know what, how to even say this. Struffily? I, I always call it struffel, but the, the right way to say it, as I've learned, is struffily. Struffily. So right, what is struffily? You... We have flour, baking powder, butter, eggs, a little vanilla extract. So with any kind of dessert, Rick, you want to put your dry ingredients first. So you have your flour and your baking powder. Then we have our sugar. We're going to put that in the center. And the recipe is on Great Chef, uh, GreatScottChef.com. Great Chef. Then we put our eggs in the center. And this is like, my grandmother, God rest his soul, is named Michalina. And she would make a plate for everybody's family. And after nagging her so much, she would make me a plate. And it just brings great memories. So here we create a volcano-like well, they call it. We have our sugar and our egg. And then we slowly push our flour in. And you can use a mixer, but you don't want to overwork the dough, Rick. Okay. So I like to do it by hand, and it's very fun with all the kids around. Could be a little messy. So this is kind of like making a pasta or noodles or something, but you're doing it with some sugar. So it's a sweet, it's a dessert. Correct. Okay. So here we're mixing this. And after everything is mixed, Rick, we put our butter in. And in French, you call that fraser to... to to, to like incorporate the butter, but you don't yeah. want to overwork it, and you want the butter to be nice and cold. And this is what we come up with. Gotcha. So, so you get your dough, and then you put it in the fridge, probably get it cold. You want to put it in the fridge for around a half hour, so okay. it becomes uh, inelastic, nice and firm. So here, and this is the fun part, very daunting to people that know, because you want to roll them out by hand. I rolled it out with a rolling pin to around a half an inch. And now I'm going to cut it lengthwise and then crosswise. And okay. they don't expand that much, even though there's baking powder in the recipe. So it's going to get a little bigger than the actual size. So then we take this and we want to just... And you're all... Yeah. The thing that amazes me about Italian food and pasta is that it's all handmade. I mean, the, the amount of time that this takes. But after you taste it once, Rick... It'll be the funnest okay. work, a labor so, of love. Uh, do you fry these? You do. To do them? And here, you asked me about this earlier, this is new technology. Instead of putting a thermometer into the oil, you just take this little gizmo, you press it, and it'll tell you, here we have 250 so degrees. this is a thermometer without sticking into the oil? Correct. If you're looking for a Christmas gift, anyone, this for somebody in the kitchen, this is uh, pretty amazing. It is, and I you like can that. get that online and... You just go to thermometers. Okay, so you're going to dump these into the oil, fry them up. We're going to dump them in the oil, and we'll have a little here. We're going to fry them up. I'll take these, we'll, and you have to be very careful with this, because the flour will start to uh, make the oil expand. Okay. So you always want to have a large pot with a little amount of oil. Keep so the you have away from that. Okay, here's our finished product. What do you do after you, after you fry it? We take it, assume this is fried, they're golden brown. We put that on a sheet pan, just anything you fry. We take our honey. You never want to boil honey, so you bring it to around 160 degrees, which is poaching temperature. Shut it off after 160, and again, with our little uh, gadget, we can tell what the temperature is. We put our struffles in, we stir okay. them around, put them on a plate, and then you can have the children do this with the little candy Perfect. sprinkles. But try those. I just, it's, a, it's great. So you put some money on it, put your sprinkles, and there you go. You've got your Christmas dessert. You can get all these recipes from uh, greatscottchef.com or on our Fox & Friends but website. Chambord is the, uh, the coup de gras. We have a little ice cream, put Chambord on it, black raspberries, perfect compliment. Outstanding. Perfect compliment. Guys, we'll send it over to you on the couch. Uh, I hope you sent some food over as well. Thank you. All right, thank you. And some you. Chambord. Coming up, we're learning more about an American woman found dead in Israel. Police say she was murdered while her friend escaped alive.